Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge, and I am continuing my blacksmith armor project today. Now, before I get going, I just want to point out again, this is for entertainment purposes. Do not make your own body armor and expect it to work. If you make your own body armor and you get in a gunfight, there's a good chance it won't. So, just for entertainment. But, what we're doing today is I got all the pieces fitted and attached. And it uh, was quite the process, so let's look at it. Okay, I finished cutting all my notches. You see, they're all the way down. And I was overcomplicating this in my head and my thinking. Um, I was planning on grinding these edges down to an eighth of an inch. But really, the more I thought about it, this is three quarters in its thickest spot and if I grind those edges down while I'll still have quarter inch our weak spots will be weaker so I, I don't I think I'm just gonna leave it uh, that gives it the best chance of actually working and then really it makes where we rivet it together it's gonna be the only weak spots that's my way of thinking and I'm doing a lot of thinking out loud in this in these videos Sorry about that. That's just, this is the process. This is what I go through when I come up with something new. Uh, so now what I need to do is I need to cut my corners off here and then grind all these edges with flat disc to get them uh, less, less sharp. Run an 80 grip flat disc. Before I started drilling holes in these, I wanted to test the concepts and I decided to spare y'all that on camera. So this is, is what I came up with. And um, the way that this is gonna go is we are going to have two holes here on just the top center plate. And then there'll be a hole on the bottom of every plate except the bottom ones and then one hole on the sides, each side of the rest of the center plates. Now the trick is getting everything to line up. So I am going to mark all the holes on the top plates that will be from the top and then we'll come back and, and we'll drill all those and then we're going to come back and mark the uh, holes on the bottom plates and get those drilled. So knock on wood we don't screw up. When you're center punching something, fight that urge to double tap it because your center punch will bounce. And you'll, get, you'll have problems. I'm drilling this with a 1764th bit. I'm 
to our saw blades. good so far so we've got like you know 31 32 more holes to drill now where this right here gets fun and the reason why it's taking a large amount of time to do this is if this was the fifth or sixth one of these I had made I would have all of the kinks worked out this is the first one. This is probably going to be a one of a kind. So the process is slower because everything is experimental. All my top holes are drilled. Now I'm going to start on my bottom holes. This is, uh, of course, this is where it gets it's super consequential for mistakes. I'm going to use a transfer punch, the center punch. Make sure everything's lined up still. Okay. That looks good back here. these two. Now that the, the bottom plate holes are drilled out, this gives me a basis to keep everything aligned and everything will be based off of those holes fitting from here on. Another layer looking good. Fit, or it isn't, down right here. All right. <laughs> All right, let's bolt it together and do like a mock-up real quick. Well, y'all, I did my bolt up, and I gotta say, it worked. It worked perfectly. We've got flexible steel plate, ballistic armor. <laughs> 
Well, y'all, I think we have turned a corner on this. It's definitely going to do what I want it to do. It's it's gonna work. So, uh, and it's so flexible. That tickles me to death. But um, anyway, I've got a, I've still got a lot of finish work to do on it. A lot of I got some trimming. I've got to add some uh, places to where it can be attached. And then I've got to harden everything and do the final assembly. So uh, that'll be in the next video. Anyway, I hope y'all got something out of this and y'all behave yourselves. So y'all can see a little better some of the movement on this. <laughs>